Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today, or sorry, tonight is Tuesday, October the 9th, I believe, and I am back here at uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach uh, here at Old Port Royale, and I decided to come back and check it out at night. We were here uh, yesterday morning for the grand opening celebration, which was amazing. I uh, went through and it's just gorgeous inside. Hopefully you guys already checked out that video. Uh, if you haven't, uh, definitely go over to PassportToTheParks.com and check it out there. And you can also check it out on YouTube uh, or find it here on Facebook. Um, either way, definitely uh, take a look. It's gorgeous inside. We're going to go inside again, but um, uh, we're going to do a little more nightlife out outside here and see what's going on. Uh, I do want to get you guys turned around here pretty quick because the fireworks are actually going off over at Epcot. So you guys can take a look if I can get the camera turned around here. There we go. Hey, Nikki. Uh, hey, Rhonda. Thanks for joining from Ohio. I'm from Ohio, too. Got to love it. Hey, Jennifer from Mississippi. Welcome. So there we go. Those are the uh, Epcot fireworks. So if you are staying here at the Caribbean Beach, this is another thing that you can experience while you're here. Uh, just a gorgeous view. I'm actually standing right outside of uh, Centertown, and it's just a perfect view of the fireworks over here. Hey Mike, uh, thank you for joining from Michigan. Planning a trip in June next year. Awesome. It's going to be a perfect time to be down here. Hey Jackie, welcome. Hey Nicole, welcome. Hey Nathan, welcome. Uh, Nikki here from Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that slide because I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, and you being from Pittsburgh, yeah, we might get into it, but uh, that's all good. We're here to uh, share Disney and love some Disney. So, definitely wanted to give you the shot of the fireworks there. But uh, let me uh, get around here so you guys can see. It's not too crowded here tonight at all. People are still at the park, so uh, they'll probably be flooding in here as the parks start to close. But, um, hey, Chad, welcome. 66 more days until you get here. That's awesome. But uh, I'll just give you a little bit of a, a view of what it looks like outside at night. It's very peaceful. Uh, it's a beautiful night tonight. It's a gorgeous breeze out here. Beautiful outdoor dining. So you can come back late, get yourself a nice bite to eat. Hello. It's really lit up pretty out here. Palm trees are lit up. Got the beautiful music in the background. Hey, Gerald. Welcome from New York. Hey, Aaron. Uh, you're welcome for the updates. Uh, heading down from Chattanooga, Tennessee. First trip to Caribbean Beach in mid-December. That's perfect. It's going to be beautiful down here. A little cooler, so you won't uh, have to face the real intense heat. Uh, you're going to love it down here. It's, it's gorgeous here. Hey, Pat. Welcome. Yeah, it really looks beautiful out here. Nice and clean. I love the colors, actually. The, I love the blues and the greens that they use out here and even the yellows. It's very whimsical colors, very island. Yes, Jennifer, this is uh, Centertown. It's an old Port Royal, but this part is Centertown, the Centertown Market. Uh, this is the outside. We'll go through inside again. Uh, we did a lot of that yesterday. I just kind of wanted to show everybody um, what it's like at night here. Hey, Kara, welcome. Gerald, uh, July of 2019 for you. That'll be awesome. You can still see the fireworks over there. Lighthouse looks pretty. You can see the Riviera lit up a little bit over there. Get an idea of what it might look like um, once it's completed. I'm hearing a lot of uh, mixed emotions about the Riviera, if people like it or not. Uh, a lot of people think that it's not going to fit in Get a little grand finale maybe here. Then it's not going to fit in with the Caribbean Beach theme. Um, I'm giving it a shot, though. I'm going to let it, you know, kind of see what it looks like when it's done. And see what Disney does with it. Because I have a lot of faith in Disney and what they do. Uh, making things look beautiful and fitting things in. So I'm going to give it a shot. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Hey, Lisa, Welcome. Uh, you're welcome for the videos. Can't wait to uh, be at Caribbean Beach in 10 months. Can't wait, for you to, uh, can't wait for you to get down here either. That's awesome. Hey, Emma. Welcome. You're welcome for the updates. 
uh, headed here in 28 days for your birthday trip and a very, very uh, merry Christmas magic party. Awesome. Happy uh, early birthday. Hey, Wendy. Yeah, I'm making myself around uh, to the bar now. I can't wait to see that either. It's Yeah, this is where uh, most of the people are, it seems. This is uh, Sebastian's. Looks like some people enjoying dinner inside there. I see some empty booths and some tables, so might uh, be a little easier to get in the nighttime hours. Cindy, uh, yeah, you think uh, Disney will make it fit in the Riviera? I kind of agree. I, I think it's going to be pretty impressive over there. I don't, just give it a shot. We'll see. Especially in the Skyliner Towers is the other thing. Um, they're kind of an eyesore going through here right now. But we'll see. Maybe they'll put some color on them, maybe paint them, put some nice landscaping around them. Uh, it might look pretty cool going through here. Hey, Penny, I uh, can't wait to be here in 61 days. Pat, uh, not coming until June of 2020, but that's okay. You're still going to get here, and that's going to be uh, a lot going on. A lot will be done by that time, so that'll be a real good time. All right, here we go. Banana Cabana Bar, guys. Hey, Beth, welcome. You're very welcome. I'm proud to share it here. Now, this is the place to be. Look at this. I absolutely love this bar. Hey, uh, Lauren, you're welcome for the videos. Uh, let's see, two weeks to go. You're so excited to see the finished product. It's wonderful. Bummed uh, I just missed it, but can't wait to go back. Oh, you were there. Oh, you were here two weeks ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, too bad you couldn't uh, experience this. This is quite amazing here. Really wish you could have came in here uh, when it was done. Hey, Megan, welcome. Uh, first time uh, coming in February 2019. Chad, uh, is it too cold the week before Christmas to swim uh, in Typhoon Lagoon? You know, it all depends. December can be, uh, you know, a strange thing. It can be very warm during the day. It does get cold at night. Uh, but during the day, I mean, you're still going to be in the temperatures in the 80s, and Disney heats most of their pools. So bring your bathing suit. I mean, it's Florida. Come on down and enjoy the water. I swim all year round, so I'm good to go. Cindy, you're very welcome. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you feel that way. I really try to make people feel a part of the whole uh, the whole resort here. So that's my goal. Hi, Donald. Welcome. Uh, staying at the Caribbean Beach uh, May 2nd through the 7th. Renee and Don from Pennsylvania. Can't wait for you guys to get here. I mean, look at it. It's, it's gorgeous down here. Definitely got to come and uh, enjoy the bar. Let's go see what uh, kind of drink specials they might have at the bar here. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I saw you filming out here the other day. Yeah, I was here. I'm doing another live feed, so okay, just kind of check, checking out uh, what kind of drinks you have. What's the next Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you. One men, banana cabana menu just for you. All right, banana cabana. All right, guys, here's some of their specialty drinks. If I can keep it open here. Uh, the banana cabana, the poolside iced tea, uh, the bourbon breeze, a frozy. Got all kinds of draft beers. Uh, featured cocktails, a Caribbean smuggler, a hoist. Uh, the colors, gold medallion, Meredith's mojito. Uh, Captain of the Port, Pink Guava, Colada. Wow, there's a lot of great stuff here. He does a Facebook so there you go. You can check out the uh, check out the menu there. Well, I, saw, I saw him out here the other day, filming. Yeah. So I had to get my uh, Caribbean Beach Geek salad. <laughs> I, took, I took a picture of him. I'm like, who's this dude? Uh, this is a gorgeous bar. We love the bar. This is awesome here. The highlight. I'm trapped right now. Hey, Matt, I uh, love the Caribbean Beach. Can't wait to see the changes in the spring. Can't wait for you to get here either, guys. Everybody, can't wait for you guys to get here. Let's see if I can squeeze back out here. Hey, Seth, welcome. You're very welcome for the videos. Uh, can't wait to visit in January. Can't wait for you to be here either. Hello. All right, we'll keep moving here. We'll maybe do a couple rounds. Uh, I'm sure we'll get more people on. Again, if you guys are just uh, joining, 
uh, check out PassportToTheParks.com. You can see uh, everything that I post there, uh, videos, pictures, articles, uh, all the stuff from yesterday, the grand opening, uh, the videos there. You can also check out everything on YouTube. Uh, just find Passport to the Parks over on YouTube. Definitely would appreciate if you guys subscribed over there. Uh, leave likes and comments. It always helps to uh, support the channel and support everything that I'm trying to do. And I definitely, I really want to thank you guys. Um, I'm getting a tremendous amount of feedback and really, really um, awesome well wishes from all you guys. You guys have some awesome questions. You're leaving really great comments. Uh, you're leaving really great compliments. Uh, you seem to like, you know, the whole uh, live feed coming to the resorts and, and kind of working with you guys and sharing this with you guys. So I appreciate everything, all the, like, the kind words and everything that you guys are, are saying. So I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. So here's the uh, fountain looking beautiful. All right, let's head back inside. We'll take another look. You know, it's going to be nice and uh, cool on the inside. The windows are all fogged over. All right. Oh, it still looks gorgeous in here. I love walking in here now. Hey, Emily. Welcome. Uh, staying there in February. Can't wait for you to get here. It's my birthday month, so it's a great month to be here. Hey, Brent. Uh, let's see. Love the channel. Thanks for all the great updates from Caribbean Beach. Uh, excited for your stay in 29 days. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait for you to get here. Hey, Christopher. Yeah, I love that they saved the fountain as well. It's beautiful. Hey, Carrie Ann. Welcome. Uh, hoping to stay in January. I hope you can get down here too. I mean, look at this. This is definitely where you want to be. This is gorgeous in here. Hey, Bridget. Welcome. Sending love uh, from New Orleans. All right. I see your... Uh, sorry, I, I talk football all the time. So I see your Drew Brees just set the uh, passing record. So congratulations for that, even though I'm a Browns fan. Hey, James, welcome. Hey, Brent. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you see me out and about, definitely stop and say hi. I'd love to, love to talk to all you guys. Kara, I know the lobby is absolutely gorgeous. It's so inviting. I mean, it's it's big. I love the curtains. Let me get back around here. I mean, I love these these floor to ceiling curtains. I mean, that's really really elegant, and it has a great island feel to it. Kind of an outdoor whimsical feel, but it's really elegant too. Here's the Center Town Market again. Hey, Brianna, uh, coming in April. Hi. I got a YouTube the whole time. You video. guys watch on YouTube? Video. Hi, how are you? Can I put you on camera? Yeah. How are you? Good. It's nice to meet you guys. Oh, did, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're in line, right? Okay, great. I'm just coming back to see everything at night. I love it. So, yeah. The banana cabana is incredible. I love it out there, so. Well, enjoy. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, Bridget, uh, watching on TV, super cool. Yeah, that was uh, it was a pretty major accomplishment, especially for a six-foot quarterback. Hey, Tina, um, let's see. Welcome. Where's the check-in? Well, all right, let me uh, let me circle back around there and grab that for you. The check-in is on the other side of the lobby. As you guys remember, uh, the check-in used to be at the custom house, which was like way at the tip of the property. It was not connected to anything. You had to stop there. Then you had to bus around the property to get to your, your island. And it was kind of a real pain. So they incorporated everything into Old Port Royal now. So you can just check in here. And we'll check this out because this is really nice in here too. I mean, look, look at the colors in here. It's just so bright and it's beautiful. <laughs> Gerald, I'm on your 65-inch uh, television. That's awesome. My head already looks big enough on camera. I can't imagine it in 65 inches. So this is the check-in area. 
I love these uh, these big tables. People were sitting here, you know, working on their laptops. Uh, families were just sitting here, just you know, waiting for their check-in area. I think it's just it's awesome. And um, you see a lot of these, maybe not here. Eh, what are these? I thought these were. Yeah, there we go. You can see it on the other side there. There's your um, USB ports for your charging. They also have the USB ports on the bottom of these couches over here. So you can definitely find a lot of power while you're here. Hey, Carol, uh, 10 more days. You're very welcome for the vlogs. Thank you so much for being here. Beautiful picture from the um, old rooms before they got renovated. They had these uh, paintings hanging in all the uh, rooms here. And as I said in my um, stream yesterday, that I actually have this, uh, this painting. Uh, they were selling them off after the room renovation, so I have one in my living room. So I was really excited to see that they brought that here to incorporate it, a little bit of the old style with the new. Hey Craig, you're very welcome. Love doing the tours, love sharing it with you guys. Uh, I really love talking to you guys more than anything, so, you know, get, having the ability to come here and, and to see all this is great, but to be able to share it with you all is definitely uh, something that makes me happy. Here's the uh, Calypso trading post. We'll kind of go through here a little bit. I just kind of want to go real quick through here. Like I said, I did the uh, video from yesterday. I really just wanted to get a lot of the nighttime stuff outside so we can see the, uh, the whole vibe out there. But here's uh, the Calypso again. They do have some really cool uh, Caribbean Beach uh, merchandise here. I love all the resort-themed uh, merchandise. I try to collect a lot of that, too. Here's your grab-and-go. Christopher, yeah, they really did keep the Caribbean feel. I, I think they just kind of up the scale a little bit. It's almost like coming into a deluxe resort, but it's definitely still at the moderate price. So they have muffins, they have uh, cookies and fruit cups, and they have all kinds of uh, cold things, sandwiches, salads, different drinks. And this is just a quick grab and go. Then you have your uh, Center Town Market, where you can order all your food over here. A whole big selection. Um, burgers, pastas, tacos, salads, all that kind of stuff. They have breakfast here too. Uh, then once you order, you come to the different uh, ports over here, and you can pick up your food. And this is all just open seating area. A lot of different uh, color schemes. They got the blues and the greens, uh, the yellows. But then you, you come over here and you pick up your food in the different areas. Hey, Kim, welcome. Yes, it is very beautiful here. Thank you so much for being here. I love sharing this with you guys. Hello. How are you? What's that? I still can't hear. See you later. Oh, see you later. Oh, am I on there? There I am right now. Thank you so much. There you go. I'm being uh, watching myself on a live feed again. Bridget, uh, your mom is a mug collector, so her goal is to get a uh, mug from each resort. That's a really good idea. Um, they definitely have a, a mug for each resort. I've seen them at all the resorts. So, uh, A lot of people are asking about these Coke freestyle machines, and here they are. Uh, they definitely have them here, and I believe they have them over in uh, um, the little uh, island markets over in Jamaica and Aruba as well. Just a little bit more seating up here. What's that? Yeah, yeah. You having a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome here. This is our first time ever being in this building, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Have fun. Christopher, can't wait to come in March. Can't wait for you to get here either. Hopefully, there'll be a lot of progress, especially on the, uh, the Skyliner stations out here. It's probably looking at. Uh... Hello. Thank you. Oh, you okay? Thank you. All right, I'm going to come outside. i got to take my glasses off because they fog up. It's so cold in there, and then you come out here, and it's the, 
a little bit more humid weather. So again, you can just kind of walk through uh, center town there. You see that the lobby, um, the check-in area, center town, the market, uh, the trading post, your grab-and-go, all your food, and everything is just all centrally located now. And then you come out here, you walk around this beautiful walkway out here. You can enjoy your food out here. Uh, Sebastian's is just right here on the water. This is a really great restaurant now. I love it's just on the water. All the windows just wrap around, so anywhere you sit in the restaurant, you're going to have a beautiful view of the water. You can definitely see the fireworks from inside the restaurant. Sit out at the Banana Cabana, watch the fireworks, just enjoy the breeze. Next year, you're going to see these gondolas floating overhead, and it's just going to be such an incredible view here. Uh, let's see. Let me catch up on your comments here, guys. Uh, let's see here. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Christopher, uh, surprised they haven't uh, themed the Skyliner poles yet. Yeah, I agree. i, I hoping that they will. Um, like I said, I hope they maybe try to paint them some island colors to blend them in. I think that would be a great idea. Brent, uh, yeah, it is, it's a gorgeous night here tonight. It really feels like you're in the Caribbean. Seth, uh, what would I say is the most beautiful island? Um, you know, a lot of people like Jamaica as far as the, the look of it. Um, I personally, my favorites, and I tell this to everybody, is Trinidad, uh, which was Trinidad North and South, but now they changed Trinidad North to Barbados. And uh, Trinidad South is just Trinidad now. So those are my two favorite islands, uh, Trinidad now and, and Barbados. But you can see across the way is uh, uh, Aruba is directly across from us. Then Jamaica is further down the water. Uh, Trinidad and Barbados are both on this side further down. And then Martinique is uh, right behind us here. So Martinique and Aruba, you're going to deal with, um, you know, the Riviera. The Skyliner is going to go right overhead, uh, Jamaica and Aruba. So as far as what everything looks like, I think uh, Trinidad and Barbados would be definitely my favorite. Uh, is there only one line to order when you get your food? Yeah, that's the way it looks. There's just a line queue there. So you go through and you order your food and then you, uh, you go to the different ports to pick it up. Hey, Jonathan, welcome. Uh, stayed here last year. Love it. Have you ate at any of the new restaurants? Uh, I have not eaten at Sebastian's or inside yet. I intend to do that. Uh, we'll definitely eat at Sebastian's, and we'll get something from Centertown. And I'll do some videos on that once I, once I do that. I have eaten at the Spyglass Grill here, which is over in Trinidad, and I absolutely love it. So uh, I highly recommend the Spyglass, uh, Spyglass Grill. Uh, let's see here. Let me move on. Sorry, I'm falling behind in my comments. Kim, welcome. Yeah, I love it here, too. Thank you so much for watching. Aaron, uh, where are the preferred rooms at Caribbean Beach? Uh, they are down in uh, Trinidad, I believe. I don't know if it's Barbados or Trinidad. I think it's. Uh, uh, I think it was Trinidad North at the time, so maybe Barbados now, I believe it is. Uh, Naomi, are the pools heated? Yes, uh, the pools are heated. I've swam in this pool many times. It's gorgeous year-round, so... Uh, you'll love it being here. Brianna, the gondolas take you uh, to and from the rooms. Also, what is the timeline for that? Brianna, there's actually a station. There's a very large station just uh, outside of Jamaica. So you would go over to the Skyliner station. And then it takes you on these gondola poles over top of all the rooms over to the Riviera Resort. Or it would take you down to Art of Animation, Pop Century, or it would take you over to Hollywood Studios. So they don't take you room to room. You have to get out at the station and board there, and then they take you to the different resorts and things. Brent, yeah, I got, I got it. Uh, pools, not the poles. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would heat the pool the poles for any reason. Hopefully not. So another shot of the banana pig, banana cabana. Definitely a lot of fun. Can't wait to get a drink there. Let's take another quick look at the pool here too. Again, definitely one of my favorite pools. 
on property. I love the whole uh, kind of a pirate, the Caribbean feel with the cannons. And uh, they got some great slides here. The pool is just amazing. They have the whole uh, kitty area over there. But I know you guys definitely want to be here. Who wouldn't want to be in that pool right now? Especially if it starts uh, starting to get uh, colder up north too. Hey Geraldine, uh, are the gondolas going to be able to accommodate scooters and wheelchairs? I don't know 100%, I haven't heard, but I'm assuming that they're probably going to. Um, I know Disney is very conscious of that. Uh, they take very good uh, care of the guests in their scooters. So I'm going to say that they will. I would assume it's going to be like a, you know how they load the dark rides where sometimes they slow down or they have to stop for scooters to get on and off. They'll probably have specialized gondolas to accommodate the scooters and they should be able to roll on and off. That's my guess. That's my thought. So, Hey, John, welcome. Looks like they did a great job lighting the area so it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's it's just definitely a very elegant feel out here um, it's not bright lights it just feels very peaceful very relaxing you know a long day in the park you want to come back here and just enjoy the night it's a perfect place to do it uh, one of the few resorts uh, we haven't wandered through have to do that uh, next week over Christmas yeah definitely come here it's definitely worth coming here especially for the the bar Sebastian's uh, grab some food in center town here and just walk around the resort in general it's, it's gorgeous here Hey, Naomi, uh, let's see, what would be the quietest standard room with the ongoing construction? Again, I'm, I'm, I would always recommend Barbados and Trinidad as far as your uh, quietest area. It's the furthest away from all the construction, uh, the Skyliners and so on. It's very beautiful, very peaceful, and the Spyglass Grill is down there too. So, Brian, uh, is there a good uh, spot for a drink or to catch a game on the TV? Um, not sure about games as far as sports. Uh, the Banana Cabana looked like they had two TVs in there, so I'm sure upon request they could put, uh, you know, different channels up there for you. But the Banana, Banana Cabana is an awesome bar. If you didn't see it, definitely go back and watch the beginning of the video. Uh, check it out on YouTube. I'll post it there later. Uh, and you can see that bar. Awesome bar. I can't wait to get a drink in it. Okay, guys, I think it's uh, getting to be that time again. Uh, again, I just wanted to come here, do a quick video, share this with you, share the nighttime, uh, all the beautiful lights you can see behind me. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous here. Very peaceful, very tranquil. Uh, love the island music in the background. Uh, can't wait to get a drink in the bar. Can't wait to grab some food here. Jessica, going to be here in 68 days. Uh, it's so beautiful here. Um, but... Um, just I, I could read comments here all night guys but I, I really got to try to call it here uh, definitely check out passport to the parks.com if you would uh, you can see everything that I post there pictures videos all that great stuff if you are planning a vacation down here please check out my friends at uh, living with the magic.com uh, it's called living with the magic vacations really really awesome folks there they'll help you uh, plan a vacation down here or anywhere Disney property Universal Florida California wherever you want to go really really knowledgeable as far as disney and they'll get you some great deals i know they have great deals coming up in december as well so check them out living with the magic vacations uh, a ton of comments coming in here guys uh you're welcome for all uh for everything charlie hello from uh disney nerd herders all right check out disney nerd herders guys um but yeah i really got to cut out here guys uh, again, thank you so much for being here. Um, I promise I will be back. I'll probably get to Coronado Springs soon. I'll definitely do more from uh, Caribbean Beach here and try to do some other construction stuff around property, as well as just having some fun. Uh, I want to get into the parks and just have some fun with you guys as well. So uh, look forward to all that, and I will talk to you guys very, very